Hey gang, Doug here uh, at Iron Village out in Massachusetts. Uh, so as you can see by the write-up, this is just kind of a, uh, an arm blast workout, if you will. Uh, so the first uh, four movement circuit, we'll call it, um, is going to be uh, an upper body pull, upper body push, upper body pull, upper body push, okay? Uh, compound movement will be the first two movements, so pull-ups and dips. And then the second two movements will isolate the arms a little bit more, so a little more uh, direct arm work, if you will. Uh, and we're just tar alternating between bicep and tricep. So we'll work the biceps, of course, in a pull-up move, pulling movement. Then we'll give them a little bit of a rest, so to speak, while we hit triceps um, with the dip. And we go back for some curls uh, and finish with some tricep extensions. And then after that, <clears throat> we'll do a two-movement little band uh, circuit that I'll explain when we get there. So. Uh, Real quick, just to go through the movement so you can kind of see, and, and I want to give you a few little tips and a few little cues. Uh, for the pull-up, I would like to line up the shoulders with the end of the board here, just so we won't bottom out. Uh, I'm a little bit low, but just for demo purposes, you guys know that you can obviously raise the board uh, to make it more challenging. So I'm going to hold on here to the handles, feet are off. I'm going to come all the way down so I get that nice extension, a little stretch in the lats. Keeping the chest on the board, pulling all the way up to the handles and all the way back down, okay? So we always want quality reps over quantity, so nice full range of motion. Again, chest is down, so I'm not arching my back and cranking on my neck or low back uh, when I complete these reps, okay? So after my, my 10 reps here, okay, I'm gonna come off. <clears throat> For the dips, if you don't have these um, equalizer, I think they're called Liebert bars, um, you can use benches, uh, if you have a dip bar off that you hang off a rig, there's a couple options you can use. Uh, I don't love dips off a bench or like a, uh, that's really popular. A little bit um, puts the shoulders not in the healthiest position. I prefer this setup, so if you can do this, I definitely prefer this. Uh, a couple of plyometric boxes work well. Um, basically, what I'm going to do, these are just super easy because you can adjust based on the size of the person. <coughs> And you can also give yourself a little kickstand with the foot, and I'll explain what I mean here. So regular traditional dips, hands are here, feet are gonna come off, chest is up, okay? You're gonna pitch forward a little bit, which is perfectly fine. Gonna keep the elbows in, gonna go down and up, okay? Here to here, full range again, okay? Those are pretty tough for folks. So this allows a little for, I'll call it legal cheating. You can give yourself a little kickstand. So I'm gonna keep one foot down, okay? The other foot's off the ground, so just kind of the toes of the foot as they come down, I'm not using the foot a ton, but just a little bit, just to help me out, okay? If someone's really deconditioned, overweight, just doing these for the first time, you can certainly have both feet down. It's almost like a squat, okay? Yeah, these aren't that challenging, but just to get the range of motion, get the good form down, that's perfectly fine. My triceps are still burning. <laughs> as they get more comfortable, take one foot off, and then again, when they get real comfortable, take both feet off. Okay, so on these, as far as form, I like to come down as long as there's no shoulder issues or anything like that. Think about trying to get that bicep or that upper arm parallel with the ground at the bottom of the movement, okay, and full extension at the top, all right? So we've got our pull, we've got our push. They want to come on over here. These guys off real quick. Attach the handles to the board. And this first, or next I should say, bicep exercise, direct bicep exercise, is going to be 21s. Now you could use this, you could use a total gym if you want, you can do it with a barbell if you're you know, at a regular gym. Uh, dumbbells work really well as, as well. So what the 21 refers to is, it's basically three kind of little micro sets. You're going to do a set of seven, a set of set of seven, excuse me, and another set of seven. So the first set, across the legs. Arms are extended. I'm just going to do a half a rep. So from the extended position to the half position here and then back up. So I'm going to do seven halves. Think of them as the bottom half of a curl. Okay. So let's say that was seven. <laughs> then I'm going to do seven top halves. So I'm going to come all the way up and just go here to here for seven. Okay. So after I complete seven of those at the top half, then complete seven full ones. So full arm extension all the way to that arm curl, here to here, okay? So again, see I, I did seven at the bottom half to the midway point, okay? 
then seven at the top half, and then seven full. So again, that's 21 total, call them 21s. Don't need to use the total gym, but obviously it's a great tool. So if you wanna to try to utilize this as much as possible, by all means, go for it. Uh, the last one will be some tricep extensions. So take the handles behind you. Remember you wanna get the hips down towards the bottom of the board so when you lay back, the head will just be on the edge. Once I'm comfortable, I'm gonna put my feet up on the board so all the weight transfers to the hands. I'm gonna keep the elbows up, hands are near the forehead, and I'm gonna get that tricep extension exercise. Full extension out, try to keep the elbows up the whole time. Full extension out, so here to here. This one will keep at 15 reps. You can add the board a little bit low for demo, but I'm still getting that burn, especially after the dips. You know, when you combine these exercises that target the same muscle group, you don't need to go crank that sucker all the way up. They're gonna be hard enough for sure. So 10 pull-ups, 10 dips, 21s, and then 15 there. Complete that for a few rounds, and then I'll show you the, uh, the quick finisher with the, uh, with the band next. All right, gang, for the two movement arm finisher, what I would said in the write-up, uh, it's gonna be 100 reps total, so 50 reps targeting the biceps, 50 targeting the triceps. And I like to throw this in with our workouts here and with my clients uh, and members here at the facility now and then, just to get away from the sets and reps, you know, three sets of 10, four sets of eight that we, we all know and do quite frequently. This one is kind of give it, it's a you call it type of thing. So you give them 50 reps, tell my client, you gotta complete 50 reps of bicep curls, 50 reps of tricep uh, press downs, you break it up however you want. So it's always interesting, no two people do it the same. You'll see people do 10, 10 for five rounds. Some people will try to get you know, 20, 20 and 10 for three rounds total, 25 and 25 if they, if they can. Uh, as long as, again, I said it before, you know, quality over quantity, as long as form stays good, you let them rep it out however they want. So uh, a couple of variations, but what I usually like to do for the band curl, and the band is super simple, um, we're gonna go feet on the band here like so, and we're gonna hold the band, for this variation anyway, in a, in a hammer curl position or neutral grip position with the hands, so you can see palms are facing each other throughout the exercise. So elbows are by the ribs, Nice tall posture, and I'm just gonna pull up so my hands are towards the shoulders, close to the shoulders, and then full extension all the way back down. So it's back and forth here for reps. If they're extremely easy, you just simply grab lower down on the band, and that's gonna make them harder. And as I'm sure you guys know, thicker band, the harder it is, so you can gauge intensity. Um, you can accommodate all levels of clients. You know, thinner band for, for new folks. Um, this is kind of more of a middle band here. Uh, that you use with most of our clients. And again, if they're a little bit stronger, just have them hold lower on the band. If they're newer, then hold towards the top here um, and they, they can rep them out. So again, it's up to them how, how many they wanna get, say 10, 15, up to 20 reps or so. When they finish that, they're gonna take this down. We've got a rig here. You can use a TRX frame. Something, just need something to anchor uh, the band. So I'm just gonna throw it over and loop it through. So now I've got my tricep pressed down here. So same concept as far as hand positioning to make it harder or easier. The higher up I grab, the harder that press down is gonna be. I'll hold low, just again for demo purposes. Elbows locked to the ribs. On this one, I really wanna focus on keeping the elbows tight to the body, and it's a fairly small range of motion with the movement. This exercise, we're trying to isolate the tricep, right? This is an arm blast arm specific routine. So we're not trying to get a big arm movement here where I'm coming all the way up and getting the lats involved, things like that, and then trying to press down. So I'm gonna bring this down, lock my elbows into my ribs. A good little trick if people just can't get that cue down, put some towels, you know, towel, something simple, like a towel uh, in between their elbow and their ribs and say, don't drop the towel. They won't move there. It's a quick, easy cue. But again, elbows are gonna be locked to the ribs. Nice tall posture, full extension all the way down. I'm squeezing my triceps to the bottom of the movement, trying to get the band of the thighs and then coming right back up to about 90 degrees at the elbows, a little higher is fine here, okay? So press down, squeeze, and release. So same thing with the curl. Let them determine how many reps they wanna get. Once they get that good burn, just unlock the, new, the loop, excuse me. Curls, just back and forth until they hit 50 reps each, okay? You go through one, two, three rounds of that and your arms will be pumped. Uh, you'll be ready for the beach.